Hey guys, we're here with Coco. She is a Shih Tzu mix and she's going to get a cute short haircut. So let's get busy. We're gonna use a five blade on a Shern Bao digital clipper. And I am going to trim her straight down the back all the way to the tail from just behind the skull all the way down. Take care of Coco. I'm gonna follow the natural lay of the coat down around the rib cage. And I'm gonna skim off the hips, blending the short hair into the longer hair. Coco has not had a bath yet, so this is a pre-bath trim. Coco. Looking at her coat growth pattern on her chest, if I were to run this blade all the way down the chest, oh. we would end up with these balded areas because she does have a sharp change in direction in the way that her hair grows. So we're going to stay up above the breastbone and not trim any shorter than that with the five blade. If I do want to take the chest shorter after the bath, I will do it with a four blade going one length longer. So say a four blade is longer than a five blade a five blade is longer than a seven blade, seven blades longer than a ten blade, and so on. Stand. For her haircut, I do like to take the chin very short, so I'm going to take my five blade against the grain and come all the way up the jaw and the chin. And I like this area here short. So from about the corner of the eye to the corner of the ear, from that point, I will go downwards with my 5F blade. Good girl, let's do the other side. You're all right. You're not gonna hurt the baby. Good girl. It's a good puppy. <laughs> Are you pouting? Are you? Are you pouting? Or you silly girl? Now I'm going to take a 10 blade. And the style of face that I am doing, I want to keep a roundness to the muzzle. So as I go to trim the corners of the eyes. I want to be very careful not to take too much hair off the top of the nose. So I'm just taking my clipper straight in, going in, 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 but not scooping. This will leave a nice fan of hair on the bridge of the nose, which we will shorten after the bath. This is a good girl. 
I love you. I miss you. I love that puppy. Yes, I love that puppy. She knows I love her. I'm using a 30 blade on the pads of the feet. Now all the prep work is done and we are ready to put her in the tub. You ready? You ready to go in the tub? Are you ready to go in the tub? Yes, you are. Getting her all wet down. Good girl. Isn't she precious? I use a drying ear cleansing solution after the bath to dry up any moisture that may have gotten in the ears to loosen up debris and earwax. I fill each ear canal up, rub the base of the ear, and allow the dog to shake their head. Thank you. So we're going to wrap her up in a nice warm towel. It's a good girl to the drying table. Yeah, it's a good girl. Mm -hmm. It's a rough life being a cute little doggy.
before I start scissoring, I'm going to go back over her body with the five blade. Stemming down off of the big muscle on the hind quarters, rounding down over the rib cage and skimming off the shoulder muscles. This gives me a nice straight down appearance with no poofy shoulders and no poofy hips. Let's do the other side. That's a good girl. The only breed of dog I like the poofy shoulders on is the poodle. Everything else I tend to drop straight off the dog for a more natural appearance. All right, as I prepare to do the scissor work, I am going to use Zolita curved chunkers, Zolita curved blending shears, Artero Super Curvy Shears and Jaguar Gold Straight Shears, an Utsumi Super Fine Comb, a Chris Christensen Face Comb number 006, and Ibram Magic Mist Spray. First, for the scissoring, we're going to brush all the hair down on the feet. and scissor anything that falls below the pads. Being very careful not to nick the pads. Good girl. That's very nice. Brushing all the hair down and out with the feet firmly on the floor. I'll now just round the feet from here. This hairstyle is an easy maintenance hairstyle. It's short, but not too short. It's 
great for dogs who wear harnesses or t-shirts. It's got a nice coating of hair on the trunk of the body so that the skin's not exposed to the elements. It's a very nice haircut. Using the Magic Mist Spray, I'm going to brush all the hair on the legs up. Then lift it up and out with my comb. And with the feet firmly on the floor, I will start scissoring. These scissors are six and a half inches long. It's a great length for a little dog like this. Just the right size. As I scissor, I am resting my finger on her big muscle, giving me a guide to drop straight down to the floor. Basically, the hair is very short here and very short at the toes and longer in between. That gives us this nice pillar leg. That's a good girl. Yeah, it's a very good girl. Yes, you are. You're a very good girl. You know I love you. You do. Now, as I go to trim her head, I am thinking about what I want to do with the shape of her head. I think I will start with the top of the head, and I want to take it quite short. I don't want her to look poodly at all. So I am using my Zolita chunkers, they're curved chunkers. And you can see she's got quite a significant cowlick right in the middle of her head. So I'm keeping that in mind as I go. Blending the hair into the ears. I may want some definition with the ears, but I'm not sure yet. With these freestyle haircuts, there's no rules. You can make it up as you go. I want to preserve her eyelashes. So I'm going to take my shears and go between the eyelashes and the top knot and trim the hair short. Not all groomers enjoy leaving eyelashes, but I do. as long as they're not interfering with the dog's eyesight or causing the dog problems. I 
I do want definition between the cheek and the ear. So I am trimming this area tight. Because her ears are dark colored, her eyelashes are dark colored. So I'm thinking by trimming the light colored hair off in front of the ears, it's both making the ears really stand out and it's making the eyelashes stand out. That's a good girl. Now, I'll take my face comb and I'm going to comb this hair up and back. And I'm going to take my shears straight up and down and carve behind the mustache and in front of the eye. And you notice I take my shears both forwards and backwards. So I'm using them this way. I flip them over and I'm using them this way. That helps me to create a really defined line there. And I keep combing the hair up and back as I go. And I'm being careful not to cut this fan over the nose. That's a good girl. Now I'm coming up under the eye and cutting out any staining. I don't want any evidence of a visor or a bang, so I'm gently rounding this backwards. That's a good girl. She's got a significant under jaw. And I want to bring out this black on her lips, but I don't want to enhance the under jaw any more than necessary. So I'm taking my curved shears and just snipping a little line on the lower lip just to create Kind of a smile on her face. If I were to have taken my blade and clipped all that off, it would be too much. Now I don't want this mustachey look here, so I'm going to take my curvy shears and I'm going to start rounding this upward in an oval shape. Good girl. And just softening the edges. You're looking so cute. Oh, 
going to take my blenders and blend the edges. That's a good girl. So pretty. Mm -hmm. She's so pretty. Can I kiss? Thank you. Thank you for those kisses. Okay, she's all ready to go home. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to tap the notification bell and subscribe to our channel and like this video. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye.